I, Lieutenant General Wilson Basu Mbadi. General Wilson Basu Mbadi, a son of Kasese, will be deputized by a man who is not strange to the district, Lieutenant General Peter Elweru, who, among other operations, commanded the raid on Renzuru Kingdom Palace in 2016, in which over 80 people were killed. The president also appointed his son, Lieutenant General Mohozi Kainerugaba, as the new commandant of the land forces and will be deputized by Major General Sam Okiding, a veteran of the Somalia conflict against Al-Shabaab. Major General Leopold Chanda, who has been the UPDF Chief of Staff for Land Forces, is now the Joint Chief of Staff. Lieutenant General Joseph Musanyufu, who has been serving as the UPDF Joint Chief of Staff, has been sent to the civil service. The promotions also saw Brigadier General Bob Ojik appointed Chief of Staff in charge of Land Forces, while Brigadier Daniel Kakono has been appointed Commander of the Field Artillery Division, with Brigadier Peter Chandia as the Acting Commandant of the Elite Special Forces Command. The appointments and the postings take immediate effect. Allow me to use this opportunity uh, to congratulate the generals and wish them success in their new roles. General Mbadi becomes Uganda's ninth army commander under Museveni's government and the first to hail from Kasese. The 59-year-old joined the military in 1986. Between 1987 and 1989, he served as a junior non-commissioned instructor at Kaweweta and Kapamba recruit training schools. In 1990, he attended a one-year cadet course at the Royal Military College Sandhurst, emerging top of his class. In 1991, he was made the officer in charge of career planning, and in 2005, he was made 507 Brigade Commander. In 2006, he became Principal Air Staff Officer of Uganda People's Defense Air Force Headquarters. Between 2007 and 2012, he was President Museveni's bodyguard. In 2012, he was appointed commander of the UPDF 4th Infantry Division based in Gulu. From 2013 to 2017, he was appointed the Joint Chief of Staff of the UPDF. Then in 2017, he was made Deputy Chief of Defense Forces, a position he held until today's announcement. He's also the Inspector General of UPDF and Chairman of UPDF Medals Committee, among other responsibilities. Well trained, Mbadi is a graduate with a master's degree in strategic planning from the Air War College at Maxwell Air Force Base in Alabama, USA. I think what the president is trying to say is that um, I want this army to be under the command of people I understand personally. And that is exactly the, the, the statement he's making. We wish him the best because really this is about him. A man who served the longest as a He's a uh, uh, aide de camp, and that speaks, makes a statement. And you know, security as a sector has taken the lion's share of the budget. And uh, the people he has brought uh, in the limelight, like his son, the General uh, Mohoska in Rugaba, to work with the likes of Mbadi. This is another statement that the Mohos project is now about to be unveiled. But to me, Mbadi as a person, I've not seen him in very controversial issues. There's nothing to his name that is linked to corruption. I want to believe he's a respectful person and we just pray that he, he, he does not change. It's his time now to make his contribution to the continuing development of a rapidly evolving army. Edward Muhumza, NTV.